All right, hi everybody. So in this video, we're going to solve the rational equation 2x plus 1 divided by x minus 1 is equal to x over x plus 2 minus 3 over 2. And we're going to start off by, first of all, identifying the non-permissibles here. And I get those from my denominator, right? I can't let that denominator go to 0. So we're going to say that x minus 1 can't equal 0, which means x can't equal 1. And then we also know that x plus 2 cannot equal 0. And so as a result, x cannot equal negative 2. So I have some restrictions on the variable x, okay? Because I see it in the denominator. Now, what I'm going to do here because I don't really want to work with a rational here. I want to get rid of it. I'm much happier working with, with polynomials. What I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply by my common denominator here, which in this case is simply going to be the product of the denominators. Normally what I would do at the beginning here is I would factor, but there's nothing to factor. Everything uh, is, is as broken down as it's going to get here. So I'm just going to multiply the, the denominators together. Okay, I'm going to multiply those denominators together. Then I'm going to multiply that through. So when I do, on the, the left-hand side, the x minus 1 cancels, but I'm left with a factor of 2x plus 2 and then 2x plus 1. On the right-hand side, with that first term, the x plus 2 cancels, and so I'm going to be left with 2 multiplied by x minus 1 multiplied by x. And then on the far right there, the 2s are going to cancel, and that's it. So there's still that 3 there multiplied by x. Whoops. Sorry, x minus 1, x plus 2. Okay, so I got a little bit of work to do here. I got to expand this all out. So I'm going to focus on expanding the, the uh, binomials here. So x times 2x is 2x squared. x times 1 is going to be x. 2 times 2x is going to be 4x. 2 times 1 is 2. And then here, this is going to be a little bit easier. This is going to be x squared minus x and minus 3. And then this is going to be x squared plus 2x minus x minus 2. And now I'm going to distribute the constants through and group together like terms. So 2 times uh, 2x squared, whoops, <laughs> sorry about that. It's going to be 4x squared. x plus 4x is 5x, and then multiplied by the 2 out front is 10x. And then I've got 2 times 2 is 4. This will be 2x squared minus 2x. And this will be negative 3x squared. And then I'm going to have 2x minus x is just x inside there. Times negative 3 is negative 3x. And then plus 6 out at the end here. So putting things together here, I have got uh, let's go 4x squared plus 10x plus 4 on the left here. But then over on the right here, I've got negative x squared minus 5x plus 6. So that motivates me to move all of my terms over to the left-hand side so that I have a positive uh, squared term. It'll become 5x squared plus 15x, and then that's going to be minus 2 when I bring that 6 over, equals 0. Okay, well, now I've got a quadratic. I would love it if there was a common factor that I could just divide out. Eh, there isn't, but that's okay. I'm just going to use the quadratic formula here. I'm not even going to fight with, with factoring this right now. I, you could play with it a little bit, but it's not going to work out really, really quickly here. So x is going to equal negative 15 plus or minus the square root of, and this becomes 15 squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2 times a. And so putting that together, we get negative 15 plus or minus the square root of. Now, when you put that all together, and I'm just going to double check uh, that, that, that I plug that into the calculator right there. And it looks like I did here. You're going to get 265 under that radical over 10. And now the thing is, 265 is as nice as that's going to get. Um, the factors of 265 are going to be 5, and I believe it was 59, or 53. 5 and 53. And so, uh, and 53, that's a prime. So that's as, that is as nice as that is going to get there. So... That is it. That is as far as we can go. Neither one of those solutions is clearly equal to 1 or negative 2, especially because that radical is as far uh, is as far down as that's going to get simplified there. So there we go. It's kind of an ugly answer, but that's okay. That's the answer we're looking for.